Still have about a month to go left in hurricane season, and there's still some activity in the tropics. Meteorologist Colleen Campbell joins us now with the latest. Colleen, you hear my sigh. You hear my sigh. I know. I think we're all sighing together. Uh, we had Patty that formed, but it's not going to be in the place that you thought it would be. Patty is actually a subtropical system, and it's that area of uh, low pressure that we were tracking in the northern Atlantic. So that means our next name system likely to form here soon. This area red that I'm going to go over will be Raphael, and that has an 80% chance of development uh, within the next couple days here. I think by the end of the weekend, we absolutely will have Raphael. But here's that area. They just tagged it, the National Hurricane Center, as Invest 97L until we get that official name. Also notice that we have a little wave of energy out there too uh, that has a 10% chance of development. Likely this could combine with this system. That's not going to make it a mega storm. Uh, it's just going to kind of pull in some of that energy. Looking at the models here, we just have a few models that are coming out at this time. So it's, since it's just an invest, but this data will continue to update as the night goes on. But you can see that it does want to steer uh, closer to Cuba, Jamaica, then Cuba. And then from there, there is some uncertainty because again, we're still waiting for the system to form. Generally, the models do want to agree, but once we get later into the week, we have a couple steering currents that could determine whether the system goes more towards the northeast or towards the northwest. And you can see the models do want to disagree with that. So of course, as we get the updates, we'll bring them to you. But for now, there's still a little bit of uncertainty in that track. What we do know is the system will likely be weaker because of wind shear and cooler golf sea surface temperatures.